Hey, I'm Tanner, and in this video, I want to show you how to create a Facebook page for your school. If you already have a Facebook page for your school, this video will still benefit you. First off, to create your school Facebook page, you need to be logged into your personal account. Once you are logged in, at the top right of your screen, click Create. First and foremost, to keep this process simple as possible, we will be using a desktop version of Facebook. Now to create your school Facebook page, you will need to be logged into your personal account. Once you are logged in, at the top right of your screen, you can see where my mouse is, uh, click the Create button, and then scroll down to Tab. Click on Get Started under Community. After clicking Get Started, let's add a page name or your school name. For this example, I'm going to be using the Holler. And in Category, Education. Continue. Now that we have started to create our page, we need to add, get some information on there about your school. You can see we can add pictures, add a cover, descriptions, even a username. Uh, you can invite friends that you know to like your school page. First off, let's add a picture of our school. You can either take a photo or you can upload a photo. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the Holler logo. You can see I can move it to the left, move to the right. Just try to find that center of your school logo or even your school if you choose to do that. So I'm going to save here. And as you can see, the page updates. And now there's my logo. Now let's add a cover photo. You can either choose from photos or videos that you already have on your page, or you can upload again. So that's what we'll do. I'm going to use the photo that we use on our KVEC Facebook page here. As you can see, you can drag once again until you find that right spot. I'm going to save. And now we have our cover photo. Now that we've added our profile picture and profile banner, it's time to start adding details. Follow my mouse and click on See All Page Tips. As of now, your page tips may look a little different than mine. They may not be in the same order, but all the same options are there. Begin going down the page and adding all the information about your schools. Since our schools are different, pause the video here and resume once you're finished. Now that you've added some information about your school, it's time to go to the settings. Now that we're in settings, one of the most important things you can do is go to page roles. Here, you can assign people to be either editors, moderators, advertisers, an analyst, or an admin of your page. Whoever created your school Facebook page will be an admin already. So you can add your principal, more teachers, whoever is an admin of your page can show, share, post, pretty much decides what all is on your school's Facebook page. Some key settings to look at whenever you're creating your school Facebook page is page visibility. Click edit. Unpublish the page until you are ready to make it public. Visitors post. It says anyone can publish to this page. Personally, I wouldn't want that. So what I would do is disable posts by other people on this page and save changes. Also, you may want to turn off or leave on messaging. If you want people to be able to message your school Facebook page, it would not be public as a post would be. But if a parent had a question about an event coming up soon, you would be able to message them back. So for that reason, I would leave it on. Now let's click on edit page. Here you see template and it's standard. It would just look like it's any normal other page. So let's click edit. From this window, you can see all different templates. We have business, venues, movies, nonprofit, politicians, services, restaurant and cafes, shopping, video page. After skimming and researching a little bit about each of these, I have found that the nonprofit template is the best for schools. After scrolling down, you can see that there's a lot more you can do in this nonprofit template than there is in the standard template that Facebook defaults to. When you click Apply Template, the Events tab will now be visible, and it wasn't before. So click OK. Now that our new template has changed, let's go back to our page and check it out. As of now, I'm sure your page looks a lot different than mine. A lot more information is probably on there. Your page probably looks a lot cleaner than ours does right now, as ours was just an example. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at tanner at the where I will help to answer any of your questions that you may have about setting up a school Facebook page. This is just a short video to show you how to create a school Facebook page, just in case your school doesn't have one yet. This video will be available on the holler.org, the holler YouTube, and also on the holler Vimeo.